and welcome to Bench Monster TV. I'm Ashley Lynn Condre. And I am the Bench Monster. Thank you so much for joining us, as always. We I appreciate you. I was going to Already say, cut it. We are not 30 seconds into the show, and I'm I was going to say cut off. Dead Monster. World Record. Well, nobody's World watching. Record. I am going to show my deadlift video here. Oh, gosh. Dead, dead Monster TV. And you couldn't even let me finish the introduction of our show. I'm impressed with my deadlift. Oh, my gosh. Hey, yes, you, were... you did deadlift today, and we're Real all quick, when nobody's here. watching, we start it. No one, no one will see. No one's even here yet. Okay? Watch this. Uh, what are we doing, Ashley? Apparently, showing your deadlift video. Okay. <laughs> see, nobody saw it. Okay, that's all done. Thank God. No one saw that. That was a sumo deadlift. Oh, but you wanted people to see it. Not uh, really. That's why we did it. And there's piss poor technique. What did yeah, I? What did I? Seen hey, a what did I do wrong? Straight legged deadlift like that. My goodness, you you did a straight legged deadlift. Your legs, like by the time that you got the bar like to, towards your knees, you had already straightened out your leg. When weights get heavy, technique goes That's out the, the window. That's the hardest way you can do that. Like, I did it. I'll do like when I um when I'm doing that as a I'll do that as an assistance exercise, straight legged deadlifts, and I drop the weight tremendously well because it's a lot harder you're targeting your lower back and you're targeting your hamstrings and how, and glutes and like you're not well you're, you're losing a lot of power how far am i away from nate brandon horse you want an honest answer or you want me to lie to you 400 pounds well and i pulled that pretty fast I don't know, uh, but you're, yeah. you're i'm not knocking even, at the you're door. not even at half of his Deadlift? Hey, that was a warm up. That was that was like a speed rep. I, I hate okay. to break it to you, but you're not even hitting his max. Okay, bench yeah. Well, yet. whatever. Hey, back his to max business. Bench. Ladies and gentlemen, you're last week pounds away from his max bench. We had the hundredth episode, and we mailed a lot of I packages this away. Go. I'm going to be cut off constantly. And season. I just want to let everybody know that if you have not received your package by now, and they all were shipped priority mail. You can get a hold of me, and I will get you a tracking number because I did get those uh, emailed to me from the store. So, if it uh, being Thursday and you have not received your winnings, please uh, send me an email real quick, and I will send you a tracking number. I think you guys should have them by today. Um, that's what we mailed them Friday, so that's Saturday. Yeah, we, we mailed them on Sunday. Friday. No, when Monday, Tuesday, was it? Yeah, you should have them. I think everybody. So hopefully, you have them. If you haven't received them, let us know. Like he said, yeah. um, he's got a tracking number, so he can either check it or he can get it to you, so that you can kind of check it and watch it. And it should be there. Like, yeah, whatever. Um, if yeah, if there's if there's any problems or issues, feel free to Email let us me. let us know. Yeah. So. The women's pro am was this weekend, past it weekend, was. and that's Laura Phelps's gym. And yep, she we, puts that on. Um, did you watch any of that of the live did. stream? You did. Um, well, I couldn't find because I was just looking on YouTube and I could not find the live stream okay. anywhere on Saturday. Um, but after the weekend, I was able to get um, a look because I was complaining to Mary that I could, I, I couldn't. I was never able to find it. Right. Um, Because it, it wasn't on YouTube, at least it wasn't at the time. And I don't think the link she sent me wasn't a YouTube link. I don't know where. Like, I don't know. Well, it's probably a private God, stream or what was something. What it called? It, was, but, it had a name. But anyways. I like, have a couple of videos. I got to, I got to watch, um, I got to watch um, some of it that way. Okay. So. Mary, thank you, Mary. Mary, for the Mary sent me some videos. I was so videos. bummed on Saturday. I, I really wanted to watch it Saturday okay. and Sunday. And. I, I typed in every different thing I could think of for YouTube, and I kept getting the pro am at the Arnold or like right. the the wrong wrong meets. And so, yeah. like, there's I said, a special I code you probably Mary. didn't have. Mary hooked it up because one of her friends um, had sent her the link. So, so I got to watch. Okay. Watch. Um. Yeah. So we'll we'll showcase. We got. I think I got Susan Salazar lifting, and I have a uh, Chanel Nolet uh lifting too phenomenal women throwing up phenomenal numbers and uh, we'll get to those oh, shortly yeah. uh that Amazing. being said let's roll into our videos because that's what we do um no updates on my neck uh cortisone shot is supposed to be this month sometime don't know there like i said there is a uh, really cool procedure called disc seal i really want to do um tiny meeker sent me a link to it but um, unfortunately i think they only do spine i don't know if they do neck 
So I need to call, but um, that's an interesting procedure. They uh, stick an epoxy type thing in your in between your discs, and it seals and heals and causes it to regrow. So they say, and I would gladly let them put that in my neck. Um, anything to not get cut open. Anytime they cut open your body and do something, it's never ever good again. So okay, we got some videos here. What do we got first, Ashley? What do you know? Mary. Mary. Mary ask you. Our dear friend Mary. In this video is from Tuesday Mary's night. Kicking some ass in this video. And she we she were doing strong lady. We, we were doing full range and we put her on a one board and she did 345 for three reps on a one board in a two ply Inzer SDP. Let's check it out. Looks like I have to have to put up a backing. No! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are at the gym and uh Mary with her impeccable form. Nice. Taking the hand off correctly. Very nice. Loading that phenom. Spreading that bar. Making it look oh, easy. Multiple reps. My word, Big Bird. That's more than man. Not gonna do it just once. Gonna do it three times. Holy Hannah. Yeah. That, Very good, Mary. That's and more in the tank. More in the tank. Oh, yeah. Didn't even, didn't even lift that hard for her. It was just speed work and due to my negligence we, we saw the guy deadlift again we don't want to <laughs> see that no more get away from that okay that's gone that won't happen again oh next up paul we're Loffler. On five plates next week aren't we I, I probably can do it yeah i know you can do it i'm not even worried about it we gotta figure out how to like get you to actually do a regular deadlift i just gotta train it i just gotta train it and i just, I just gotta find time to do like that some things with your your stance after your they say plate. after they say they can't fix my neck and it's i'm done lifting on uh, the bench press i'll just pull Next up, uh, Paul Loeffler, 735 times two reps to a two board. He's 12 weeks out from the 365 Strong Federation Nationals. Let's check out Paul. Rocking it in the F8. Awesome uh, shirt right there. I got a few. Three-man handoffs are essential. Look at that. Feathered right out into his line. I like that handoff. Not too shabby right there, sir. Nice lift, yeah, Paul. Really good. Holy cow. Nice work, man. Very impressive. All right. Well, we're going to get, get in some uh, uh, women's pro-am lifts now. I have it. Susan Salazar. I have three oh, I lifts. I have a squat, a bench, and a deadlift, obviously. She's incredible. Let's That's look incredible. at her squat first. Do I have to put any... I, I got to put backings up on these because otherwise it's cropped and then we're peeking around the corners. We don't want that. So let me put up the image here. We'll watch a... And I'll call the numbers out how she's doing them. Let's check out her uh, squat real quick. I have 450 written down right here. 450 pound squat for this Jeez. lady. She went eight for nine. Raw with wraps in 132 division, 46 years young. She took second overall. See, this is why. Well, Let's I will, check I out her take bench. Away from the video. Never mind, I'll show bench it. press, 220 pounds. Piece of cake. I was going to say, this is why, like, years ago, like, when I was. Um, Last lift of the day is deadlift, 490. Doing a lot of USPA meets. Like, I stopped checking the records and what I needed to do to break any kind of records because she had pushed, like, the records so far out of reach. That was what, that's why at the that was last four ninety. Like, right I there. didn't worry about for the APF even checking records because I just got used to knowing that um, they were pushed so far out of reach. Have you ever contacted Susan Zalazar? Reached out to her um, via messenger, internet. I met her at the LA Fit Expo. You know, get any lifting advice from her? Any tips or but techniques, other than tricks? Other that, I, I don't think that I... Laura, Laura Phelps was the one that I kept reaching out to. Like, when I first um, started doing Full Power, I um, would I was reaching out to her and asking okay. a lot of questions. And um, But I don't think I ever reached out to Susan Salazar. Like I said, I did get to meet her at the LA Fit Expo. 
Well, an- another fabulous female so lifter from the women's pro am. Such a badass. Okay. Chanel, and, and her last name is N O L E T. I'm going to pronounce it Nolet at the women's pro am. Uh, sh- she went, um, and I'll repeat these numbers once again 520 in the squat, 355 bench, which was eight pounds more than what broke her arm in 2018 in the same shirt. In a 500 deadlift at 146 is what I have written down. I have to put up the backing and we will talk through this. So Chanel, you are squatting right here. Big squat here, 520. Ends are canvas, I have a couple of those. Nothing wrong with that lift. Amazing. We'll check out her bench press Very here. Freaking impressive. 355 pounds. I thought she was going to have trouble touching. I was like watching the descent and I was like, oh, it, you know, it's kind of sticking. And boom. Right there. No problem getting it going right there. Good job, Chanel. Now we got Very a deadlift too Chanel. at the end of the Super day here. Impressive. And that's 500 My pounds. 500 Best pounds. Of the day. Yeah. There's Laura in the background, too. Look and Laura her. in the background, so clapping away. I love her. Good job, Chanel. Way to go. Awesome lifting. Very nice. Women are Chanel. kicking ass, man. An incredible performance. Congratulations. We, Definitely. Big we, congratulations. We should have went out there and watched that. We got a yeah, chance to get out of this hell hole yeah. we live in. We should. Uh, well, who's up next? Let me see what I got in line. Tim O'Dell. Tim O'Dell sent me a video, and I appreciate that. He sent it to benchmonster at gmail.com, and I will put it on the show like I always do. Uh, Tim O'Dell, uh, all in all, he was doing six uh, sets of two reps at 245, pause draw, rocking the dark side cuffs he won last week. Let's check out Tim O'Dell. Wearing the cuffs he won. That's how we roll. Pauses are looking good. Elbows staying in. Straight line. Awesome lift. Of course, he's going for 300 this summer. I know that. Is he really? Yep. Oh, Dave. My buddy Dave. Uh, Remember Dave? Stopped by. Gave me some smoked salmon from Reno, Nevada. Oh, the guy that we met. So, um, this guy's super cool guy. Um, last Friday, we we showed up to our gym and like the garage doors were open and as we pulled up i saw i i couldn't make out who it was like because it's dark, you know it's kind of dark in there and it's through through our window and i just saw this, this guy i could tell just had this huge smile on his face and he was just so excited that that ryan was there um apparently he's from reno nevada and was passing in um passing through the tri-cities due to work and um he came came by our gym because um i think because of the show he knew that ryan trained it at impact fitness so he found impact fitness and i guess he showed up at 11 hoping to meet ryan and hung around wait like just hoping um because he was told that that ryan you know w- would be in at some point they just weren't sure coney wasn't sure um what time exactly but he knew like in the afternoon evening sometime that ryan would be in so this this guy waited from um, about 11, I think is what Coney thought yeah. around when he showed up to, a, I mean, he worked out too, but he said he, he waited around. I think we showed up around three or so Yeah, long time um, because he just, he wanted to meet Ryan so bad. He's a huge fan. Um, yeah, that's cool. it, it's, uh, it's been his dream to meet the, the big three, Ryan, Kennelly, Scott Mendelson and Tiny Meeker. Meeker. And he had met Scott before. And so. Uh, meeting Ryan was just a huge honor, and he was just really excited. And you know, he just said, it was "Strong great. kid too." One well, of his dreams, who's super strong, super well strong. built, tall, muscular really guy. Nice, yeah, just really cool. Um, really good vibes from body him. weight two fifteen to two twenty is what he. Uh, is that is that what that's what, what he told yeah, me? Yeah, we pounds? we got a lot, and you know, and he, and he showed up and was uh, telling me all these numbers he trains with, and uh, I heard a thousand pounds, and I looked at him, and I'm like, okay, you know, let me see some videos. So see, he sent me some. A lot of videos here, and um, Dave, uh, his last name is M-A-T-E-V-O-S-I-A-N. He's Russian, so I don't know if that's Matevison, Miss Matevison. 
Yeah. We'll call it. Okay, Dave. Sorry. We'll get it straight. Uh, anyway, from Reno, Nevada, body weight 215 to 220. And he, he's in a bench daddy four ply bison shirt. And he's doing some reverse band benching and some contest footage. And I got it all right here. I have to put the backing up for one, but not the others. Let's check out doing some reverse band. Now he's using a mini band here on the reverse band and uh 995 right there on a two board. So he's not using a super strong band. That's 1035 right there. Weighing 220. A strong man right there. Very impressive. Uh, let's check out his next video here. Let's I don't know what he's doing in this one, but we can rock this one. Looks like a thousand pounds to me on a two board. Once again, not a lot of not a lot of band assistance right there, buddy. Look at that shit. He's moving that pretty quick too. It looks like he goes to a one board with it now. Utilizing that shirt. Holy shit, man. Like uh, I'm impressed. Yeah. Amazing. Uh here we, really, we have Dave uh, really impressive competed life. at a Mendelssohn show here contest. Oh, okay. And um I think the I think the number he did? Yeah, he's Mendelssohn show. Let's check that out. I think the number is posted on there. Let's check it out at the Mindy show. So here he is this at This wasn't the one we No. Did. Okay. At Mindy's gym. I don't know when this was. Once again in the Close bench daddy. Familiar. Jesus. Weighing 220, 826 pounds right here. Look how low he brings that, too. That's how I want to bench. Holy crap, that's a nice line. And locks that out. That is a, that is a no bullshit lockout right there, son. That's legit. <laughs> yeah, strong cat. Okay, now he's doing 852. Let's check that out. Must be another contest somewhere. Yep. Well, you don't have to f around. Looks like he does no. quite a few, quite a few. Moves. And he's got the shirt down. And he, uh, what was really cool about his shirt is it's, um, it's a four ply, but you can bench in one ply. He kept pulling out the sleeves, like uh, each layer you can take out. It was really cool. So here we are at eight fifty two. Relatively flat backed, but knows the shirt, and is not afraid to freaking grind. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm impressed with this guy. Yeah, no, seriously, like. And I guess for his for so his church, you, but he's he really impressive himself. Drives around and delivers smoked salmon and smoked um fit. What, what? He had like smoked a refrigerated meat. truck. I think smoked a lot meats. of it was. I think primarily, like the, I think the majority is like fish and and that kind of thing. But well, he said something about. Was it brisket or no? There was something. Right there was something else. But I think it's primarily fish. But I think there's some other things. Well, let me tell you something. He, he he gave me a chunk of smoked salmon. I've been putting that on cream cheese and a bagel. And let me tell you, <laughs> yeah, yum. Super nice guy. Oh, he's um, so nice. So I, I want to get him in on a just Tuesday just night. Sweet. Next, he says he comes through this town every three and a half weeks, man. And I said, stop oh, is by. That how often he? Yeah, comes stop out? by on a Tuesday night at five o'clock, man, and throw some weight around with us. I'm yeah. Start going coming by that often. Uh, let's let's keep moving. Let's not slow down. Uh, Joseph Tumbarello. Uh, of course, I found a video. He's out there bench pressing heavyweights, and he's doing five twenty-five for nine reps. Let's check out Joseph Tumbarello. 525 pounds for nine effing reps. Wow. A freaking machine this guy is. That's insane. That rep looked really weird, but he says, no, don't take it. And yeah, that's the real deal right there. He's going to step on the platform someday soon. And yeah, uh, gonna uh, put up, he's going to put up some big numbers. Huge. I think... I, I think he's 65, 7, 275, 65, 55, somewhere in there. So I don't know, I don't know what the raw um, bench records are in that. Talking about Dave, right? No, I was talking about Joseph Tumbarello. Oh, gosh, sorry. You were I sleeping. Was kind of, I, I wasn't sleeping. I saw your eyes closed. That's all right. But I stopped paying. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. Like, I might have for a split second. Next I up. Apologize. That was embarrassing. Bob Merck, M-E-R-K-H. Uh, he was doing 1,100 uh, for one rep near touching and uh i want to check that out here because he puts it up um relatively you know a little, little grinder but shit man 1100 pounds a little bit of bar whip he, he he mentioned bob merck 
almost touches down there, and then heads the other way. Ladies and gentlemen, 1,100 pounds. I like to get that back in my hand sometime soon when I get a right arm. I uh, saw this video, and it scared me. So we'll play it briefly. It's uh, it's actually an intermission video because you're sleeping, and that's no good. Let's check no, out. that's when I was drying. I was like, my contacts are drying out. I was this drying. intrigued me and upset me, and then I threw up. Um, right. Oh, I got to put a backing up. And there's music to it too. We won't play it that long, but I thought it was cute. It's a, it's a, it's a little bit of disco. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Is this Vegas? Is this what you go to in Vegas and see? I mean, this poor what girl. What is happening? Like, wh what's the age here? Fifty. Oh. Think she still's got it. Oh my God. Let me tell you something. There's a lot wrong with oh, this video. So much. People are like. Or is that in Tijuana? I don't know where we're at. Okay, we uh, we can't watch that no more. Was that the end of it? That's the end of that's my eyes are burning. There wasn't anything else. No, I can't see that shit. Well, you put it on. You might as well put like play it. If Be, there was more to it. Okay. Can uh, you play Joseph's video again? Were you I'm sleeping? No. Ashley was sleeping during Joseph Tumbarello's five twenty five for nine. Okay, are Joseph's you awake? Sleeping. Okay. I Sorry, just we got to go backwards in time here. Second. Joseph Tumbarello. Gonna bench press. Oh, yeah, okay. I did start to watch. Okay. Close yeah. to 700 pounds when he gets on the That's platform. Insane. He is a machine. Like, that is He's absolutely young, insane. Healthy. He makes that look freaking like a feather. Well, oh, was he purposely pausing that? I don't know. Looking to have that him was... on the show at some Ooh. point too, of course. So. That's um, insane. Yeah, I'm sick to my stomach over the grandma on her underwear. Um, okay, you are up. Can you walk yourself through these videos while I take a break? What are you doing? No. Are you going to poop? No, it's your show. Okay. Uh, oh, so here you go. Me. You got two videos. Just walk us it. through your squat. You ready? I mean, there's not a, too much to walk. I don't. Oh, I hope I didn't post it. I think this is a new one. What's going on here? Tell the audience what's going well, on. Well, I think everybody's pretty aware it's a squat. We can start there, yeah. You got the convict got knee wraps convicts. on. I love those. I love those so much. Um, I, I got to remember what the... This was 335. 335, okay. Doing some reps or what? Doing some triples. I've been working Triple. up in triples. Um, in the next week or two, I'm going to try to PR, hit my tri PR triple. Okay. Um, I've been going up a little bit each week. And... These felt really good. Um, I, I, the depth is. is I thought your back decent. was hurting. Oh, oh, that's right. This day, my back was. This was because this was last day. See, tonight I felt a lot better. Thank right. God. But last week, yeah, my like the whole workout, I was debating. I'm like, do I need to spine or down? or do tendon? I need to like go lighter than I was gonna go. Um, that's I, I, it was really bad. Like from the very beginning, it just um like the the lower back and it feels more. It's not like muscle. It feels more like, I don't know, bone the right word. Like, it just feels so tight down there. I don't know, like. Overtrained, probably. I don't know, like, how to explain it. I, I don't know. I'm starting to wonder if I have, like, arthritis in there. You're only 22, it's like, so that would be bad. It's, like, pretty consistently, like, tight all the time. And then sometimes it'll get to the point where it's quite a bit worse than others. Like, even when I don't have a specific injury. Because there's been several times where I've had a back injury where I know why it happened and i know where it came from but like recently um there wasn't hey, no specific you need to get your injury. shit together you it got just, eight weeks to your meat i mean it doesn't seem to be like affecting i don't want to jinx myself but it doesn't seem to like other than just being distracting because whenever you're like well should i keep going well what you know is, am i going to regret this if i do this that's right that's always the fine line that you're running but it doesn't seem to be like taking away my strength well if the, um or if, allowing me to not can i talk God, Can you sit still? Me. You don't have to bounce. Never around. mind. Move, move on. Okay, deadlift. You got a back problem. What's going on here? Nobody. Cares. You don't care. No. <laughs> I'm done. You wanted me to talk people through it, and then you. I'm I'm done with it. Looks like done you got one of my it. chains. This was yesterday. Yeah. Looks like the floor is not straight. Yeah, and I, I'm bitching. I'm. And Cromer's on the other side there, and I'm bitching to him. 
I think. I think that was maybe it. the foundations cracked below from well, dropping all those no, weights on there. The 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 stutter stutter much. The uh, deadlift platform is broken underneath. That would make sense. And so I have to assume it has has to do with that. Well, that's a piece of cake. That's easy. And no uh, hitch at the top. Can't beat that. Nope. I'm really working on that, especially like with the chains. I'm really thinking about like driving through as smooth as I can, squeezing those glutes, driving the hips through, making sure when I set up, I'm trying to not only pack my lats but pull them back. And how many weeks really till you meet? Work on that. Oh, in Pocatello, Idaho. Um, June like eleventh or twelfth. Whatever. June. Whatever. Let me look at that because I keep telling I keep telling everybody I'm like keep a June keep a telling eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, whatever Saturday is in there. Let me let me just look because I can't okay. Can we move into speed bench? Um, June yeah June eleventh. June eleventh. All right, I that's where you're gonna 11th. shine. That's where you're gonna do uh hit more PRs. I, I hope I will see. So speed bench. When was that? Oh, the infamous Friday at the gym, the speed bench day, and the toothpaste green shirt. Let's check it out. All right, what's on the menu today? Looks like my bands and my band protectors. And it looks like we're doing, what's he doing? Eight, six, I don't know. Uh, thought it was six. Six sets of six. Let's see what Dan does. I'll count them here. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Yeah, we went two weeks of eight sets of eight, two weeks of uh, six sets of six. And tomorrow may bring 10 sets of 10. It's like Heinz is in there. Are you in the gym on this day, Ashley, on Friday? Yeah. Yeah. When do you get there? What time is it? Oh, I was already there because I didn't have school because of spring break. So I should already be there. Oh, yeah. Spring break. Yeah. So we got a pretty good crew there. We got Jake Stoker, one of the gym owners there. Dan, Chris, myself, Heinz. And uh, so we're trying to move quickly. One after another. Short rest periods is the key. One minute or less, so we try to move quickly. Two grips are used, regular grip, wherever you grab the bar, and then a wide grip. Three sets of three on each grip. Trying to move the bar with some speed and explosive power, obviously. But my bands are a little different than your average bands. They are very snug and taunt. They are not worn out like the ones you would find in any gym. Oh, uh, why is there so much dead time right here? Who is not lifting? I am upset. Oh, go figure. Hines. I did not know, but showed himself. He's the culprit. Man, look at that boiler. That's something else. Me, yeah, I think I'm constipated. That's not normal. Okay, so uh, six reps, arms feeling okay. That's good. Uh, I'm gonna move to a little bit of incline, looks like. On a speed day, that is two sets of uh, 15 reps. One set close, one set wide. Usually, let's see what we did on this day. 
I don't think we did four sets of something. I think it was just two sets. Chris grinding them out right there. Dan with two plates. One thing bad about our incline at this gym is you don't get a lot of leg drive. The way it's designed, angled, and put together, it's really an all upper body movement. I like to drive with the legs a little bit, and uh, I don't know if it's because it's closer to the ground, but this is not the easiest incline. Good job, Dan. Hines. Have you seen me pop in there at all? I have not seen you. I saw you earlier, but now you're back. Okay, Hines doing some reps. Good. He's looking good. Ooh, all the, oh, what was that? Ass up off the air again. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Gotta watch it. I mean, kind of the same style, <laughs> especially there. Hey, it's incline, all right? Hey, it's just incline, yeah. All right. So what I'm trying to do is keep my elbows in because that right arm likes to do its own thing sometimes. So strong. Uh, I used to do 405 on here. Like the Canelli Power Team whiteboard in the back. That's I'm right. Sure it's been seen before, but so oh, look at that <laughs> idiot walking by. Okay, so we keep the uh, bands on there. I'm moving the camera over because I want to see the elbows come out from underneath the bar. I want to see an extension. I don't want to see any pressing here. And believe me, when you do these, your brain definitely doesn't want to do an extension. It wants to do a press. Let's see if anybody breaks the rules. And it looks like we did 10 extensions and 10 elbows out to the throat. That's 20 total reps. It's not a lot of weight, but it's hard. So you really want to turn those elbows out and bring it to your throat. Looking good, Dan. Who's up next? Who's this, Ashley? Team Bench Monster. Hines. All right. Me, Hines, and Dan's were all tripleting at the gym that day with the same Team Bench Monster shirts. Oh, we had to go to sandbagging Hines. Elbows coming out from under. I like what I'm seeing. It's extension. It's an extension. And we try to push that in the straight line that you're looking up. Straight as an arrow. Forehead up. And he's doing those good, too. I'm impressed. Well, who's next? Hines again with a quarter? Uh, pull those elbows in, sir. Uh, do I ever go? I don't know. Or did you opt out of these? I don't know if I opt. I don't think I opted out. Sure, I do. Hands on the smooth there. Love the cuffs. Keep everything tight there around the uh, elbows there. Not over the elbow. Really flaring those elbows right there. My creative mind always likes to make things hard and not fun. Jake Stoker came up with this, so we doubled my mini bands, and this was hard. Uh, we had been doing a lot of overhead pressing the past three extra, three workouts, so, and this was no joke. I know you're seeing a five-pound plate on there, but let me tell you, people, it was hard. But we still did it. Yeah, a little rough. I think Dan kind of went over his head or something, I thought. Some of us did it kind of in the, in the front, a pressing movement in the front. He kind of went over the top and kept it on top of his head, which is fine. Still hard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
Jake here, who who uh, came up with the exercise for the day. I didn't like it with the bands. It was hard, no, man. Yeah, we couldn't put weight on there. I was kind of embarrassed to put this on the show because it looks like we're a bunch of weak idiots. Yeah, but like anybody that like um, knows powerlifting and knows what they're doing understands that those mini bands are double. crazy strong. When they're doubled, they are pulling so And especially on the squat, I mean, that's the right. highest up. And then especially like for overhead press where you're making it even higher like that's even okay. harder than the tension for a, the squat so rolling dumbbells i was kind of uh in, impressed because i know uh th th two months ago i could do 45s for a set of 10 and then my right arm would fall to the ground so i'm feeling a little froggy today here i am teaching jake how to do rolling dumbbells now they're not strict, like a, like straight up and down 90 like that. I'm teaching him to kick his elbows, kick to start and kick to finish there. So a little kick down, roll back, and a kick to get him started. There, look at that. Picks it up like a pro. And once you get that moment, now he's doing them super strict. And I'm coming back saying, you got to do the little elbow roll there. There you go. Otherwise, super strict will leave the end of your elbows on fire and most likely have like a tendonitis painful effect that will never go away because we never let up on the ligaments and tendons that run over the elbow into the forearm. Here I am with 110s. I'm feeling like a little froggy. Yeah, the right arm is still not trying there a little bit, but you know what? I'm trying to get back. What better way than to fucking just grit teeth and turn purple? And fucking do it. Gross. Yeah. How about that? Uh, never really film pushdowns, but I tell you we do them. I don't just make shit up and not show you. This is uh, kind of the end of the workout here. So we did a couple tricep exercises. We did a shoulder press. We uh, did speed bench. Some incline reps. This workout takes one hour and ten minutes. There was a... Uh, Almost a UFC battle in the gym earlier, but we won't talk about that. Uh, I'm glad everybody's wearing the Team Bench Monster shirts. I'm proud. Yeah. We are going to get hats it. done pretty soon. And um, maybe some new slogans. Maybe, uh, yeah, who knows? I just, I, in order to get hats, I have to buy like 50 of them. And that's another $800. That's how much the shirts were, 800 bucks for like 50 of them. I think I got ripped off. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it was worth it. I've been in the game for fucking 40 years, and I don't have my own shirt. What have I been doing? Well, you got your own shirt. I do yeah. now, finally. It took you long enough, yeah. Okay, so that was Speed Bench. Now, 72 hours later on Tuesday night, we do what's called Max Effort. And on the menu, on the Canelli Power Team board, as you saw, the dry erase board, it is on there as still, one. Oh, you still use it? Oh, yeah, I put the rotations. I it was old. Okay. No, I put, the, I put the maximum effort exercises we are doing in a four week rotation. So it's five reps, uh, full range in the shirt. That was, uh, we did that recently. We're actually trying to beat the record we did four, five weeks ago. And then it's, um, oh, what is it? Decline. And then it's two board. And then it's something else and something else. Let's check out Max Effort Night. Well, that's a 325 for a couple. This is going to move quick. BJ Dirk with 500. He's in uh, using one ply of the Widowmaker there because we're doing five, he's doing five rep max, which I tried to do. Jake Stoker here looks like a Widowmaker with uh, some pretty good weight. Trying to help him maintain some form there and get the reps. The correct technique there. Don't want him getting hurt. We're working with him day by day. Here's me in a sh in a shirt. That's 600. I'm trying to touch, you know, so I grabbed a shirt that I could touch in. Got the sleeves all the way up. Hines is close because of the right arm problem. Yeah, I'm I'm with I'm on triples today. Here I am yanking. Look at this. Bump my this was tough. <laughs> Arms are cracking there. We got it on. All right. That's 605 pounds right there.
and a Widowmaker. Looks like Speed Bench. Effortless. Chris here in the Widowmaker, I believe, and he's doing, what's that, Ashley? 405, 415? 375 and 20. Um, how much is the bar? 55. So with the red plates, I think it's 405. Lesson, 405. The red plates is 374 with a 10 pound extra Good job, bar. Chris. It's 385, 395, 405. Yes. Here's me with 715, and I was going to do a triple. Triple. I triple. Thought, I thought I could touch, but you know, I'm doing the best I can. Every time I hear the word triple, I hear Sean Catterley's voice yelling at you on the road to the Arnold video. Triple! Triple! So that didn't touch. That came closer. I think 800 touches in that shirt. And I didn't have time to go to it because it was 7 o'clock. No, 6 o'clock. An hour on the max effort movement. BJ Dirk with 7.15 right here for five reps, like oh butter. My God. His best four or five weeks ago was 6.45. Today he did 715 for five. Jeez. Moving on up. Dan Thanks Logman DJ, here. That looked really good. Yeah, easy. That yeah. looks easy. That's so impressive. I can believe it. five reps with that. Fuck yeah. Just smooth and very impressive. Dan here with six six hundred. That's looking six good. Six oh five. Looked like that was a good night. I wanted to go 800. Kevin here came down with BJ from uh, his hometown, my old hometown, and uh, he joined us. He he brings in a 375 pound raw bench. Nice. Yeah. Nice. He was working th with, towards that four. Working with a slingshot. Okay. We like new people. Heck yeah. We try to make this fun and inviting, and um, I think he had a good time. Good. I call that the bumblebee. Uh, oh, we decided to do some Spoto presses. We haven't done those in eons. Spoto press is obviously you come down, stop, and start. We use a pinky on the ring grip, and we do a five reps. I um, can only do about 360 raw, so I suck. But everybody else was strong. Since we haven't done these in a while, we wanted to get the form down and make sure everybody knew exactly how to do them. So we started uh, with 275. I can't do much, so I'm sorry. I used to do that with 500 pounds when I was uh, when I had an, another arm, but that's hurting and 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 dying. So Heinz here going up by 10. Sorry to bore you with all the lighter weights, but. This is one of the um, exercises here that really helped me uh, with pausing a raw bench. Hines with 375. Got to keep the butt down, though, even though it's uh, an assistant exercise. And what's up with the grip? Why the fuck did he move out eight more inches? Oh, I didn't sure catch did. that. Yeah, that, that he's way out past the ring. That's not how Will we do it. I didn't see it till just now. A lot of us to move out. I didn't know it's pinky on the ring or closer. Oh, for this photo. Yeah, and he was he was out coast to coast, and that's what a no no. Is that was that his comp comp. I don't know what that was. Because a lot of times I'm it's upset. easy to like float back to your comp grip, even when you're like doing close grip or close yeah. grip. Yeah. Or... Good job, BJ. That's hard shit, man. Yeah, Forest nice. hopping in there. Forrest Jenkins right here. Looking strong. Strong. As hell. Try these sometime. They're hard. Wrong. Oh, I know I have. I need them. <laughs> There's I... like no momentum. Uh looks like we grabbed the uh little uh whatever bar that is. And we put a mini band underneath. And we were doing uh Hoff presses here, which is ten extensions, ten presses, and ten extensions. Pressing towards the feet. All triceps. These are hard. 10 and 10 and 10. Let me tell you. The last 10 right there are like, uh, you have to dig. Usually do this with an easy curl bar, but uh, sometimes you do it with fat grips on a regular, all kinds of stuff. 
Like right there, I'm thinking, man, I got this all the way. And you're thinking, okay, that was easy. Then you go to these presses and you're thinking, wow, this is like a rest. Ladies and gentlemen, that right there is not a rest. You're thinking, you you're like, this ain't going to be a problem. But oh, when you go back to uh, square one right there, it is like, watch. I'm supposed to get 10, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, there it goes. That's a wall. Uh, that went fast. All right, Heinz, what are you doing? Well, you're pressing it. That's not good. That's not an extension, ladies and gentlemen. That is a press. That's a little bit of an extension. There's still like I don't know what I'm doing. Behind, like behind I don't know why I'm not saying something. See, look at that. That's that's a press. That's no, you got to let those elbows come completely. You got to. I understand it wasn't like full on press, but it's or a full on extension, but it's pretty extensiony. Actually, that is a, a that's bit. a press right there. A bit. Oh, damn it. How am I going to get these guys strong if they don't do the exercises well, right? right. There. Why don't you say it? Like, well, it's I see it on it's video. Like he can watch the video right away. See, see how BJ is doing them? Look, way back, elbows way out, and he's doing extension. He's not pressing. A lot of times I don't see these things until we watch the show. Well, that's, you, I mean, and then I bitch. you're the coach, and you, yeah, it doesn't do a lot of good now. Mm -mm. <laughs> but a good coach sees these, you know, pays attention and sees these things during and corrects for the next set. Yeah, right there. That's a wall. And that happens. Jake Stoker here wants to play too, and I like that. I think he uh, had a little soreness in his left arm, so we said, okay, Jake, you just do 12 and 12. 12 extensions, 12 presses. Something was flaring up in his arm, and uh, I wanted to monitor that, monitor that and make sure we weren't making it worse. We want to keep him in the game and not on the sidelines, so... Boy, he is a towards-the-feet bench right there. Whoa, That's yeah. the best I've ever seen. Nice. <laughs> that is towards-the-feet. All right, good job, Jake. Oh, nothing else? Okay. Did you guys do Christian? No, we did side delt raises after that. We didn't do any shoulders. We just did four sets, side delt raises. It was pretty... Um, I, yeah. Our shoulders are pretty beat you up. You didn't do any pushdowns or pecs? Some guys did push downs. No pecs on that on that workout. Ashley, what's going on in the chat box? A whole oh, bunch of we stuff. Already there? Yeah. We're already there, yeah. It's like almost 8 o'clock. we got to oh, keep sure. things rolling. People got things to do. Anthony Caruso. What are you writing? I don't know. Just pretending like I was doing something. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Just got done doing arms with my friend, and this was the first notification on my phone. Now I feel like I should go back in and do more work. LOL. Oh, that's what I got to do. I ran yeah. out of time. I, I was only able to um, fit all my squat work, which takes it takes a long time. We're going back to the gym. I have to admit, it takes a while. I, gotta, I warm up, and I go up in small increments, so that takes a while, and then takes a long time to get to my working sets and then i when i wrap that that takes some time and so we, short long story short we are going back to the gym after this That's to finish right. up assistance work i got calves to do because assistance work is really important too so um tim odell so, uh, anthony it's good to see you uh, are, are you going back to the gym too or you just feel like you should that's where that's where we'll be. But good to have you. Glad you made it. Glad you joined us when you saw that notification. Tim O'Dell, sup BMTV family. What's going on, Tim? Good to see you. Always great to have you here as well. Hope hope you're having a good day, good week. Glad you got your package. Yes, that's awesome. I hear you're using your cuffs. Is that what you told me? He I was think using? he said he yeah. got cuffs. Yeah. Very nice. Very Didn't nice. Can we send Paul Waffle or something too? I believe Paul was a winner as yeah. well, at least one, at least one. Yep. Um, so he got, he, he hopefully got a package as well. Um, Paul, hey guys, how's it going? Going good, Paul. Going well, Paul. Thank you for asking. Hope things are going well for you. How you doing? Paul's looking strong. Thanks for joining us. Yep. Looking very strong. Love it. Love it. Evan Monster One, I would have guessed you were a conventional puller. I never thought I'd see the bench monster deadlift. That was good. I am a conventional puller. That's how I pulled in a meet in uh, 2005 when I last did it. Um, I just thought today I was squatting, and um, I kind of a wide stance squat. So Jake Stoker talked him into J Jake was over there deadlifting, yeah. and um, he inspired and, and talked Ryan into 
um, hopping on that platform and getting some deadlifts in there too. And yeah. Um, and I think it was your thought process that if you did sumo, that su- sumo, sumo, that would take um, the pr- some of the pressure off your back. Yeah. Like, yeah. I went over there and I pulled, I started with two plates and I pulled it conventional. And then I was like that, you know, that might mess up my back. So I decided to try sumo and uh, try to push the floor apart with my feet and um, two plates felt really good. And to be honest with you, I didn't even grip the bar. I think I just held it like this. Yeah, so he's doing it double overhand, and he's just gripping like that. Yeah, just like this. Just hold it, yeah. And I didn't want to do four plates because I wanted to show off me. that I do deadlift as ugly as it is. But um, I might start doing them. We'll you see. Should. We'll see you work up to five. Especially, like, I mean, that, that might be something that doesn't bother your shoulder, like, because all the pressure. It doesn't, no. You hold it here. You can, you know. Well, I don't so know. So if that doesn't bother yeah. your shoulder, that God, might be something I don't want to be a deadlifter. Fuck. Yeah, you do, man. All the coolest monster. people in the world are deadlifters, or at least do it. Okay. okay? I mean, Oof. Paul saw my deadlift. I'm embarrassed. I played it so early, like when nobody's watching. I he gets it. one of the first people on. I know. I don't want anybody to see it. Um. So yes, we were very impressed by by Ryan's deadlift. We're very proud. Very proud that he was in my. There may deadlift. be more to come. Who knows? <laughs> Oh, there is more. 500. 500. Maybe, maybe one. Slow it down, time. princess. All right. Bill E. Cheesesteak. Haven't heard that name in a while. Yo, long time no see. How's it? How is everything? Going good, man. Going pretty good. Can't complain too much. Um, hope you're doing okay, too. Things are going too. all right. Hope, hope everything's going well with you. How, how, you, how have you been? Um, really nice to see ya. Um was very happy to see your name in the chat box. That was really nice to have you here. Hope everything's going well for you. William to BJ. BJ Dirk. Hello, Ryan, Ashley, and everyone else. Hello, BJ. It Hello, is Mr. so BJ. nice to have you. We always really enjoy having you here. Um, hope hope everything's going good. You're looking crazy strong, by the way. Um, super cool to see your um, your videos during um that that portion of the show you're just looking incredible that set of five reps man was it was it 715 715 yeah. excuse me crazy yep. and looked 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 easy looked good getting strong very nice job bj uh-oh paul Loffer. You, i messed killing up it. or we messed up killing it paul Loffer. sorry i was 12 days out from nationals in that video not 12 weeks okay lol was that his mistake or yours i just write was down he, what's in the email here? And that's what it said. Are you sure? Okay, yeah, so that's weeks. why he said sorry. Yeah. Is he had twelve days? Well, okay. shit, that's, that's right a bit of a quarter, difference, Paul. huh? <laughs> Man, it's coming up. Which one? Which meet is he doing? I don't know. Ask him. Which meet are you doing? He's doing the three sixty five strong federation. Oh National. well, th- I, I thought you had the answer. You were doing that to make me look like an asshole. <laughs> no, I wasn't. Yeah, you were. You're not an asshole. <laughs> okay. okay, who's up next? Cody Plum. Cody Plum. Hey, Cody. Good to see you. Always love seeing that name in the chat box. Hey, everyone. Can't wait to see you guys. Definitely. We're very excited to see you. Can't wait. Hope the arm's healing good. Yep. Ho- hope hope your arm's healing good. Hope your back is doing good. Um, love and seeing the training videos. It's really good to see you, um, you know, still getting still getting your training in and I I know you're in you're there every day supporting Rosanna and and Vincent and you guys are killing it. You guys are a strong family of badasses. Super super impressive. Um, Cody Plum also says great lifting, Mary. Yeah, she looking stronger than hell, and she she was looking great in that video. Um, doing amazing. Um, more M. <laughs> M L G Vambat Legion. <laughs> Mulg. Read the question, please. Well, okay. I'm trying to figure out what it is. Okay. Yeah. I'll I'll stop butchering it. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. Um do you know how to say that though? Is that M L G Vambolt Legion. Vambat Legion. Yeah. Okay. What? Hey Ryan, how long did it take you to lift over a thousand pounds? Well, I started in ni- my first uh, professional competition in 1997, and I did my first thousand pound bench in July of 2007. So, yeah, ten years. Ten years. That yeah, sounds, sounds about right. 
if I could go back and do it all over, I could do it in half that time with the uh, training knowledge no, that I have now, it. and I could have done it. But the beauty of that is, is that I know how to do it, and then I can pass that down to people that are coming up, and hopefully they can do it in lesser time also. And especially now with the band shirts, I mean, yeah, it's um, that's what you got to have. I mean, you got to get in a band shirt and um, not um, and gradually working up like BJ is doing. We're not forcing anything. We're just taking steps. You don't get in a band shirt and like and then try to go to a thousand too fast. You want to. It's not baby steps. It's just gradual, progressive training. And um, yeah, it's it's uh, that, yeah, ten years. That's all. That's how long it took me. Yeah. Yeah. Takes a lot of a lot of time and hard work and learning and. Okay. Mary ask you. Thank you for joining us, yeah. Bembat Legion. That's how I'm saying it. Okay, there you okay. go. Good to good to have you here. Mary. Mary. Hello, guys. Cody, thank you so much. I'm trying. Ryan and Ashley, thanks for the hospitality this week. I had a blast. 2023. Ashley, we are headed to Ohio. You're doing more than trying, Miss Mary. You're what are you going killing to it. For? You're looking really strong, looking really good. Um, you are more than welcome for the hospitality. It was so fun. We got to ha I got to have a slumber party with Mary this week. Um, you know, the the roads were bad, um, and you know, we don't want her driving home in the dark and unsafe roads. So, um, she's always welcome welcome at our house. So, um, she came over and spent the night, and we had a blast. I couldn't, I didn't want to go to bed. I just wanted to keep chatting with her all night. We, we're just, we, we can talk for hours, like, and and I just, I love talking to her. So I was like, we were like getting ready for. I had, I had even shut off all the lights, and I, I just kept talking and talking, and we just yeah. kept saying, oh, I know we need to go to bed. Okay, we're gonna go to bed. Uh, and then morning. we'd start ta talking about something else again. Yeah, I think we we were up at least till one. Um, and then we were both like, okay, we seriously got to get to bed. We both got to get up. And um, and then she was there when I woke up in the morning. So that got me up and awake and ready to go for the day because we got to keep chatting for a little while till, till she had to get going. So um, our pleasure. You are welcome anytime. Great to have you. Dave. Um, and we are thinking, of Ohio, we, are, we would like, um, I know it's a, it's a ways away, but we, we really would like to um, possibly go to Laura Phelps's meet. To compete? So we'll, we'll, we'll see. I, I've always thought that would be so cool. You have so. to be invited? You have to qualify? You have to qualify, but I'm, we're, both, we're both qualified. Okay. So. So, um, Dave. Dave Matavosian. Am I saying that right, Dave? I hope I'm not. Mat Matavosian. Ocean. Matavosian. I hope I'm not butchering it. He's let let come me try know. With us. Yeah. I'm excited. I'll have to have you teach me how to say it correctly the next time that you're in town so that when I see it on the show, I can say it boom like that perfectly. I always hate saying people's names wrong and butchering them. Dave, glad to meet you guys. We'll come back one day to bench with you guys. God bless. Yeah. It was awesome meeting you. I'm really glad that you hung around. That's really cool that um, that you hung around so long to get to meet Ryan. I have we, a, we all really enjoyed getting to meet you. I have a four-ply bench daddy. When he comes down, we'll break that thing out and lift with him and the uh, bench daddy. So I just can't get I, – I told him, I said, I got one of those shirts. It's a four-ply, and I can't get – 1,035 to even come down in it. So that was a long time ago, too. Maybe I need to break it out again. Who knows? William Dirk. Thank you for joining us, Dave. It's really cool to see you on here. And again, it was really nice meeting you. Um, very, very impressive videos, too, by the way. You are really strong and really impressive. It was very fun to watch. Um, BJ. I think oh, sorry, he was, I was referencing to, I was trying this to, lady. That's circle. That's K. a circle. Like, yeah. <laughs> I, I can believe that I popped up exactly when we played that video. <laughs> so, yeah, that's funny. That's, that's funny. That's a cracked out grandma there. That okay, was next up. Pretty sexy, wasn't it? Oh. Horrible. <laughs> Saw that on Facebook, and I was like, I thought about it. I'm like, what the hell? I think it's funny. But you, you like don't to see burn it every day. Eyes every now and then. Yeah, I like to do something outside of the norm. There's a always always fun. God, I can't talk. I was like slurry. Um, you always like to throw in some crazy videos here and there of all different sorts to to keep us awake. And Cody Plum. Cody Plum. 
Well, that I no, that's not the next one. I was trying to read. I'm telling you what to read. Cody Plum, I found a way to deadlift with a broken arm. Cody? Are you doing it with Are you doing it with one arm, or do you have a different method? When I had shoulder Jesus. surgery, I figured out how to do it with one arm. But are you how, how are you do, like Are you doing it with one arm? Please send me a video of that, a Cody. Yeah, we want to. How can we? Ha- yeah, I want to. I want to totally want to. Because I haven't seen that video. Was that posted? I don't know, but if it is, I Cody, I didn't see he, that. You got my email, Cody. You know, send me videos. I'll put them on here. Yeah, I want to see that. I'm impressed. Like I said, I did it with one arm when I had my shoulder surgery, but gosh, a broken arm. That's Gabriel. hardcore, man. Very, very impressive. That is awesome. See, Cody, Cody's a big bencher and he understands how badass deadlifts are. I don't like deadlifting. <laughs> well, you it's hard. need to get over that. It's yes, it fun. is hard. It's very hard. Gabriel has a question. From the boys, man. Gabriel, sorry to ask this bench monster. Okay. My questions always seem to be about food. Okay. Ugh, that is not a problem. This guy loves food. I it's love like food. what he thinks about 90% of the I'm day. I'm hungry right now. Seriously. Okay. So no need to ever apologize about that. Um, my questions always seem to be about food, probably because I'm a super heavyweight. What do you like to eat before you train? Oh, that's a great question. Yeah, don't apologize for that one. That's a great question. What do you like to eat before you train, right? Well, there was the, how, back in the day what I like to use to eat. Now it's uh, since I've kind of cleaned up my eating a little bit and I really don't have like a high calorie diet anymore. So I, I kind of, you know. Kind of Jay Cutler, you know, a chicken and white rice. I like to have a, something with white rice, whether it's 96-4 hamburger, uh, ground turkey, uh, nothing heavy like a, a steak or nothing. But uh, that and uh, 80 grams of uh, white rice I kind of like. Um, back in the day, uh, there was no rules. Um, typical meal before uh, a heavy bench day, uh, I'd stop at McDonald's and I would get pancakes, sausage, hash brown, eggs, um uh what else uh bacon egg and cheese well this was when i was 350 pounds so it was easy to put food away so i would always get that uh and then drive an hour and a half and train so it's um that's kind of like a contest breakfast uh before i bench you know whether it be a sherry's denny's uh bob evans you know pancakes um sausage eggs oatmeal um a big gigantic breakfast usually three three I like to have it three hours before I lift. That way it has time to go to your stomach. Blood comes in to process it, breaks it down, blah, blah, blah. And then you're kind of ready to go at that time. So it's all timing. I don't like any meals before I train. Like half an hour, hour, I won't eat. If anything, uh, something very, very light. Granola bar, if I need it. But nine times out of ten, I do not. So, yeah. Chicken and, chicken and white rice, uh, ground turkey, something like that. And usually it's, uh, I'm after the carbs, obviously, and um, for the workout, so. All right. Let's see here. Which one? Um, Cody Plum. BJ is a berserker. So glad he's back where he belongs. Oh, yeah. I know. We are all so glad that he's back where he belongs. He just, he belongs on that bench press. With this team, absolutely. And I think he's getting ready for the Canelli Classic. Everybody's always so happy to see him there. He's just, he's such a badass, so funny, so fun to be around, such a cool guy, so helpful. I could go on and on and on about how great BJ is and that we're all so happy he's back where he should be, back where he belongs. Um, Cody Plum, I'm going to come back reverse grip. Oh there you go. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, that's very cool. Anthony Dude Clark Cobb style. Yeah. Well, that's Cobb does that too, right? In training. Well, Anthony yeah. Clark did. Oh, it does he platform. mean in? Oh, I does he mean in platform on the platform? Well, yeah, I know he means yeah. bench, but I mean, I I didn't know he meant on the platform. I thought he was M&M. talking about training. Um, M M. Hi Ryan, what was the story from when you bled from your eyes while benching? That was crazy. What happened there was I was wearing a, a compression shirt called the Rage X, and that shirt by Enzer, the material didn't have any stretch in it, and I wasn't really um, super um, fluffy in the torso, you know, in the stomach I was, but up here uh, in the chest, of course, when that shirt would uh, build up and load, it would tremendous amount of pressure here, and it's forcing 
you to, uh, as you're bringing 946 pounds down in weight, you really want to raise your head to alleviate that pressure. So you have to do the opposite and pull back and all that pressure comes up to here. And when you have uh, moderately high blood pressure and you're on a high sodium bloat diet, carbohydrate, and you're at that level, you, I get, uh, the blood's got to go somewhere. Um, they say if it doesn't bleed out your nose or somewhere like that, you get an aneurysm or a, some kind of crazy thing in your brain. Uh, my nose would bleed and very horribly. And I don't know how it reverses out the tear ducts and shoots into my eye wells, but that's what happens. That what, that's what you see and that's what you get. Haven't had that problem as of late. The uh, phenoms that were cut lower didn't have that pressure here across the uh, upper chest. So um, some of the band shirts though, when you wear them kind of high, there's a little uh, pressure like the uh, Ray Jacks a little bit, but uh, I haven't had any issues and, and um, I don't have uh, blood pressure like that anymore. That was all diet uh, dependent on what causes that. So yeah, that was like a one-time thing, but I was able to do it quite often back then. People loved it. Um, I'll never forget the meet in, uh, I think it was Salem, Oregon. I did my first 700 pound bench. I did three of them that day in a Wabdell meet. And from the headbutts and the uh, slaps in the face, I remember that um, hotel motel ballroom we were in in Oregon. I left a lot of blood on the floor and I feel really bad. I mean, it was literally like a, a slaughterhouse back there. Um, I'll never forget that. Uh, the amount of blood that I left everywhere was just, uh, it was bad. It, I don't she know. She got pictures of that part too. I Yeah, it was rough. All right, Cody Plum. Cody Plum, that was smart to go sumo with the disc injuries you got, Ryan. Yeah, and it feels good yeah, on my lower back. I the think that'll conventional, Sorry. conventional is not the best thing for me, so I tried that and I didn't have any L5S1 problem on this day. Yeah, it's crazy how like, just changing the stance whether you go sumo or conventional can feel so much better. like for me like sumo was starting to kill my hip so when i brought it conventional in no more hip problems and i know like the with the back when when the, your back's killing you uh instead of going conventional bringing out sumo can make a huge difference i know i was just talking to my friend kayla at the gym tonight and she was talking about how her back was bothering her and so she switched to sumo and like really hasn't had any there you problems go. with her back. And it's just crazy. Like, and I know that's probably how it is for you. Like if you tried to go conventional, oh. you'd probably feel it real bad in your back, but just uh, widening uh, out that stance a little bit can take the pressure off of that. I just think it's kind of cool how you can have, you know, work around injuries by just changing the style that you're, that you're doing it. So pretty cool. Who's up next? Um, One rep max. One rep max. There he is. Howdy. Hey guys. Sorry I'm late, but I'm going to sit this week out too. I'm back in Sonora, so s signal is ass. Music is loud and family is everywhere. LOL. Enjoy your week, guys, and happy Easter. Easter. I forgot about that. Me too. Yeah, Palm Sunday, all that good Holy stuff. Holy crap. Okay. okay. Um, yes, thank you, One Rep. We'll miss you again, but glad you stopped in to say hi. Um, and, and let us know where you're at. Um, that's awesome that you're, sounds like you're having a good time. You got loud music and lots of family. So glad that you're having a good time. Um, enjoy your week also and happy Easter to you as well. Enjoy your evening with your family. It sounds like that's awesome. William Ramsey. William Ramsey. Should I do light deadlifts if I do bench only? Yes. I don't think they would hurt. I'm gonna say yes. Deadlifting, know you know, thicken, my, you thickens your uh, your back and your and it works your lats too somewhat. So, I think um, depends on what light is. You know, I, I don't know. I, I don't think it would hurt. I think if you're handling gigantic weights and pulling heavy and you know it could be counterproductive to a, a big bench, but unless you're Dave Hoff or somebody like that. But no, I think um, I think they can be incorporated in. I think they can be beneficial. Light, whatever that light definition is howard weingarten yes i i agree i think deadlifting is only only gonna help and it's just really 
cool. And I think everybody should be doing it. Um, Howard Weingarten. Hi, guys. How's it going? Hi, Howard. It's Howard. going well. Thank you. Hope things are going well for you. How you doing? Um, Ryan, when you're not getting ready for a meet, how often do you get into the shirt, into a shirt? Uh, right now we're not getting ready for a band shirt meeting of any kind, but I still like to get into it. Uh, like I say, we, on max effort, we rotate four max effort exercises. And I try to make sure that one of those is an overload in the shirt. So it, that would be probably once a month. Um, when we get closer to a meet, I go to the shirt in the shirt every workout. Only uh, if we need a deload do I pull the shirt. But usually um, I want to be in it, and, and uh, that's what I'm going to be lifting in. So just like the Phenom, you know, I was, I was uh, you know, back in the day, 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 we used to put the Vince shirt on, you know, two weeks out from a meet and say, oh, well, that's what I'm going to do in it. Now, when the uh, when I got the Ray Jax and then when I got the, into the Phenom back in the day, I found myself lifting in it all the time, which allowed me to acclimate to benching heavier weights, a lot of board pressing. Uh, that type of thing. So um, at least once a month. I know the rotation we're on now is five reps uh, full range in a shirt. It's a decline press, which we wear a slingshot so we can still go heavier than raw. And one of them is two board press or one board press in the shirt, one rep max. And what's the other one, Ashley? I can't think. What was that? Uh, the, four, the four rotation that we run. So at least once a month right now. Well, you just, the one that you just um, called out, the five rep. Uh, five rep in the shirt, declines one of them, two boards one of them. Maybe it's four. Oh, like floor press. The Sorry, out, floor press is one of them. Uh, yeah, we're not doing decline anymore because our decline bench is no good. What was, wasn't there something that was like freaking you out about it? Yeah, uh, the, the decline like itself is wobbly, stretchy. and we, the apparatus we use to try to hand off to the athlete is wonky too and it's it's Cause it's not like an actual decline bench setup like you know like some it's, there it's are some a, that are like it's no good meant to decline bench press or with a uh barbell where it's all attached and it's an actual decline no, bench press. it's a mobile this is one that um they take a just a freestanding um decline bench and put it into the racks and set it up that way so they're having trouble getting it set up to to where they feel comfortable in it, it sounds like. Um, Phil E. Cheesesteak got my real estate license and am now trying to pursue two jobs. Planning on going bench only for a little bit. Going to get back to eating and training like I should and hit up a bench meet in November. Sounds good. That's awesome. First of all, glad to hear that you, that's awesome that you got your real estate license trying to pursue two jobs that's pretty badass i like it howard um, i want to i want to go back to howard's question because i kind of forgot one of the exercises we do is a five rep max in the shirt full range so i guess that's a shirted lift but when i when i think in the shirt i'm thinking one rep max i'm thinking two board two board with chains one board that type of thing those those are my money lifts where we go uh, you know above maximum effort up all the way to the top so Heavy as we can go and handle as much weight as we can. So I guess we're in the shirt two times a month. So I just want to clarify that. Sorry. Okay. Um. Let's see here. Phil E. Cheesesteak. Planning on going back. Cody Plum says he that sent it to the group cool, chat. But... Check your phone okay. after yes, the show. Sorry, Phil E. No, I got it right here. I see. I um. I love our group chat, and I always follow. There's a lot of like times where the they're chatting while I'm. Um, at work, at work, at school, or coaching, and so I'm not able to always see it, and so sometimes I'll go back, but I don't go quite, um, quite back high enough. And this was one of those times, um, and so I actually pulled it up. I don't know if you can see it very. Oh, there's a glare. If that glare wasn't there, there we go. There you go. Let me get it set up. Here we go. Oh, he's got a strap he's around. Got a strap. Yeah, I saw, oh, I, saw that. I think that's Vincent that just pulled it up and fixed it for him. That was so cute. So he's got a strap. I got that. Dang it, I had it good. There we go. That yep. is badass. Oh, and I love it. He, little guy's fixing it between each set. How cool is that? I love it. He's pulling like I do. That is badass. I love it. What a clever hey, setup. It's innovative, and it's uh, he's doing I'm what he's got to do. One more time where I can actually see it. Here we go. 
Spud strap That's is what so he's using. Cool. I love it. I love how he's fixing it for him in between. That's so cute. That is awesome. I am thoroughly impressed. Okay. Nobody if, wants to see the glare I, anymore. If I can hold it right, my arm's getting tired. Wait, that you... is so cool, though. What a perfect idea. That's really impressive. Really cool. I love it. I love it. That is awesome. That is so creative. William Ramsey has a badass, great question. Man. We talked well, about and this you in skipped the over Philly cheesesteak. Okay, I was still I'm talking sorry, about Philly. him. Yeah, you should be twice. You see what I'm working with now, I Philly. I you read it. Jeez Louise. I did, but I was still like, I was still commenting on it, congratulating him on his li his um, real, estate real estate license. license right? And um, sounds like he's planning to go bench only for a little bit. And he's got a plan. He's getting back to eating and training like he needs to. Oh, okay. And he looks like he's um, planning on hitting up a bench meet in November. So that's exciting man you got your plate full of two jobs and one of them sounds like it's a brand new job you should invite him up here um, to sell my other house really cool there you go <laughs> <laughs> there we go we it's need to Lake sell Ryan, ryan's house yeah. in moses lake it's the house is like it's super old and it's kind of yeah. you know there's there's a lot going on there that we need to be fixed um or just you know yeah, you're paying for the view fresh but the view and the property is beautiful like it's in this nice neighborhood um right on the right on the lake side you have prop the, there's property that goes all the way down it's just this cool like landscape that goes all the way down to the lake there's a little dock that you can fish off of really nice property but anyways William Ramsey has a good question, and I want to talk briefly on it. Well, we're going to talk a while about it. Read it. Okay, William Ramsey, opinions on all these bodybuilders dying, and why do you think they are all dying? Well, um, oh bodybuilders, powerlifters, you know, uh, you know, it, it comes down to genetics. A lot of people are born with um, heart defects and uh born with liver problems and things of like that but this is a probably a heart issue with a lot of these bodybuilders and uh in the bodybuilding world and i've never done a bodybuilding meet you got um you're pushing the body to get down to two and four percent body fat which is not healthy to be at for um a, per a long period of time and you also you know in that world run a lot of diuretics a lot of clenbuterol uh, growth hormone factors and things of that nature. So I think, you know, it's a combination and who knows? I mean, that's just uh, one, one part of the spectrum. Um, maybe they're on um, opioids, you know, they're in pain, um, so mixing other things. Um, I'm not going to mention any names, but I know, I know in the bodybuilding world, they are uh, quite the uh, party animals and um, recreational things they do um uh, you know after meets or whatever but um i think it's uh I, I think if i had to pinpoint something it's the definitely diuretics um having the body fat down and uh, it's a lot of strain on the heart um anabolics and things of that nature combined you know it causes a lot of trauma um uh, cardi uh cardiac malfunction heart attacks um uh big people if they don't have um uh they may have sleep apnea i mean on and on and on you know and uh, they may not know they have it and um sleep apnea is a silent killer and um you don't have to be you know 300 pounds to have sleep apnea a guy weighing 135 could have it you know so you got to monitor those things those 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 will creep up and get you because um sleep apnea would basically causes the heart to uh emphatically vibrate out out of rhythm sometimes and um, long term it enlarges your heart and we all know that uh, uh, performance enhancing medicines can enlarge hearts uh, growth hormone insulin uh, you know growth hormone makes everything grow so um, uh, valves in the heart um, on and on and on but uh, you know it's definitely um, nature of the beast i mean some people can dodge bullets and 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 not have a problem some people get hit early that cedric young man uh 44 years of age uh passed away and that's sad to see that's a young man right there so um uh does it happen in powerlifting absolutely um um but seeing seeing these guys uh you know at a young age uh the, um you know i'm bad with names but uh oh the guy that had the Oh, what was his name? I forget. 
but it cut no be, uh, there was another individual um and we talked about him i mean and we're just seeing it too often and that's that's scary and um it, uh, everybody's body's different we all react different to different things and i i, I think if we uh narrowed it down we can come up with a uh a, kind of a, a a general scope of what's causing this and um it can happen to anybody really i mean one thing about um uh powerlifting is not a lot of people i think use a uh, human growth hormone insulin and diuretics and i may be wrong but um you know those are what um uh some of those things can creep up and get you you know the enlarge what's that uh that valve in the heart that enlarges uh you get enlarged tissue i mean just on and on and on so but that's kind of a, a nutshell of what i think um can cause it but uh a lot of people you know they have uh, in their family history have heart problems or con congestive heart failure and you know um uh like ryan hines you know his dad uh, passed away um at an early age and, and heart things uh, run in his family so those are things that we need to be aware of so um diabetes runs in my family but um no um no heart issues that i'm aware of but uh yeah, I mean, sleep apnea was one of the ones that uh, kind of hit me. But, um, you know, yeah. hopefully that um, um, bodybuilders, you know, take take heed to, sit, you know, who, the guys are passing out and dying around them. So they should be changing up uh, what they're doing and, and getting blood work done. And um, that's very important to find out. I mean, you look like a million bucks on the outside, but what's going on on the inside of the body? That's what's important, you know, in the heart, the thing that, that ticks and keep us alive. And we only have so many heartbeats in our lifetime so definitely want to make sure you uh you get that uh the heart checked out stress test uh ec cardio echogram where the hell it is on and on and on to make sure you're in you're in good health and and know the consequences of uh things that you're going to be doing that could um could shorten your lifespan but uh bodybuilders are being pushed to pushed um you know schwarzenegger's day there was it was a different look this day and age it's bigger 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 and leaner 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 and it's um it's i think it's causing you know people to push the envelope um pretty hard so and i don't know what the uh i'm sure there's money in bodybuilding i'm i don't you know uh when i was going to the arnold and hung out with jay cutler i understand you get a weeder contract you know you're getting x amount of dollars every year and that that's kind of the 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 award for um doing what you do but uh jay cutler you know he retired and he made it through and and um uh health wise i think he's doing pretty well but yeah seeing young people uh and that one kid 20 something years old bodybuilder that um had a, they said it was insulin related and this that and the other but his um God, what was his name anyway just uh we're seeing it too often and um really sad. Way too often. dallas mccarver is that his name yeah something like that young man you know see it on instagram and that's a sad thing to see in fact i was gonna post a uh uh a little um video on cedric that i found on uh, instagram but um i didn't use it i just watched it and it just made me think you know 44 years young hmm, too young man that's way too young we got yeah. a lot of good years left still <clears throat> all right um that was, was a good that was a good question yeah that was a good question i mean yeah it's really big right now and we just talked uh, about it at no, the gym earlier very, yeah and uh me and nate were talking about it so yeah, yeah no, really scary and really sad buddy plum which one let's see right here see so oh, sorry, guessing long arms guessing don't help long the... arms don't help that situation either which one was that don't know for the but he lives in spokane he says it's snowing sometimes, there sometimes like we read them so far after yeah. like they were posted after certain videos or certain comments that i'm like yeah kind of slow at remembering you might have to remind me on that one snowing in spokane it's april I, it's, it's the middle of stupid. april i don't I know. know what's going on it snowed here today too and it snowed it's on monday monday i woke up to snow it was the first day back um after spring break spring break was last week so it was the first day back and i feel like it was mother's mother nature's way yeah. of slapping all of us back i don't like it spring bake is over it, bitches. It, it, it's like it's inhibiting Jesus. my ability to go out and catch i was bath. hoping for a delay i was hoping for a delay so hard on monday i need the water to warm up yeah, that so would get that would have made it cool that it snowed and then today i was like are you freaking serious this is stupid 
Rob Guts. Greetings from Santa Barbara, California. How you doing, Rob? Hey, Rob. Nice, nice to, to have, have you here. You. Thanks yeah. for stopping by, man. Thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. Good to see you. William Ramsey. William Ramsey. I have had a theory that the stress of extreme dieting to growing causes more stress than anything because the body the body is never is in homeostasis. That's true. Yeah, that's true. That's a good point. Yeah. Absolutely. There's you know, that's probably one of, you know, many many factors that that contributes to to that kind of thing for sure. Great point. Thank you, William. Good to have you. Howard Weingarten. Okay, thanks. I'm doing a West Side kind of West Side kind of style, only getting into it once a month. So I think I will try to get into it more to learn the warlord. Yeah. There you go. To learn it, that's gonna be you know. Yeah, because you really want to master the shirt. And um that's a that's the thing that that hinders me was um the ability to use it correctly and to compliment my benching style. Um, one of the things about those band shirts when, you know, two years ago when I was first told to wear them, you have to flare your elbows and this, that, and the other. And I was, I was just like, that scared me to death. So I'm really interested in getting a shirt like Kolb because Kolb had a, when he did the 1320 bench, he had a specific shirt made for him that uh, mimicked a polyester um, groove. Um, and he can tuck his elbows. And I don't know if it's cut differently, but that's kind of something I, I bench with the elbows eight and four. And I know they that can work in shirts, but I'd like to have a design specifically made for that benching style and not one that I have to really turn out my arms. Um, that kind of scares me, so. Bill E. Cheesesteak on the heart attack vein. Continue there. What, uh, oh, sorry. On the heart attack vein, I read something a couple weeks ago that heart attacks are up about 30% in the the past two years so what is that nationwide wow. or is that in bodybuilding what are we talking about um that would probably be like nationwide yeah. i would guess kind of in general definitely stressful sure. times that doesn't help yeah i mean there's probably you know again a lot of factors that are that are causing that cody plum it's really sad to see um cody plum i would suggest Blood pressure and trying to keep a high body weight throughout your 40s for bodybuilding risks. Yeah, that's another thing. You get, you know, in your 40s, you definitely don't yeah, want to fuck around and run around like me, you know. That's run. why I kept trying to tell you, especially when you had your AFib. Incident. AFib, I'm like, yeah. you're, in your, you're deep into your 40s. Like, it's your body's not meant to be 300 forever. No. And, you know, 300 or above forever and ever. Like It's true. You know, you can get away with it in the prime of your You can. You're invincible when you're 27 while, and powerless. But, yeah, when you get into your 40s, like, it's not a time to be messing around with that. It's a time to get down to a healthy body weight and be, you know, taking care of yourself and managing your diet and, you know. Anthony says it's 86 in Jersey. Let's oh, that the, must let's be nice. Jersey. What the New hell? Jersey, here I come. Jeez Louise, that sounds so much nicer. Uh, Cody Plum. Cody Plum. I was asking you about having a non-fat chest being the problem why my bolt never worked. Yeah. The way you just explained the Rage X made me realize that could have been my issue. Oh. Yeah, because yeah, your physique and, and muscular... Um, yeah, uh, build absolutely. composition you're you're solid so you know that shirt goes to like it, it can't sink into your body it's like you know stretching it over a rock and it's just, <laughs> it just rock hard chest and yeah yeah you know if you were um puffier you know you'd have a little bit of give and yeah yeah say la vie uh phil e cheesesteak says globally that's interesting that's not good oh wow. heart issues that's that's a scary statistic right there i mean like I'm not surprised. I was going to say, you know, like with, you know, I Especially think in America. Higher, Bad America. I was going to say, as far as like nationally, I I mean, Americans we know have, have gotten gone up in weight and probably decreased in health, you know, just with diet. And, you know, I think I think a lot of people are getting less exercise than, Cody Plum. than before, you know, with, with all this. Um, you know, especially especially kids, I think, are getting so much less exercise than they were at one point with all these video games and computer games and being on their phone and all this stuff that they do on a screen that requires no that you know, in my day we went out and played. Like when we were bored and you know, we went out and played outside and ran around. But these days, like kids 
play on a screen for fun. That's what they do. Even right. when they're playing together, a lot of times they're on a screen playing each other, doing something, you know, doing something. And so Cody Plum has an interesting. I guess I'm done. Yeah. I'm going to read Cody Plum here. You're playing on your phone. I am. Now. Everyone on Instagram is blaming bodybuilder deaths on vac on the vaccine because it's been happening before that. The vaccine, ladies and gentlemen, has caused heart attacks in people, and that's been clarified, like, legitimately, like, that's uh, been an issue, but nobody talks about it. So I wouldn't say it affects everybody that way, but there are people that have taken the vaccine and then had a heart attack soon after. And there are some of that. It makes me raise an eyebrow. I think he's saying, like, you know, it was an issue before Not everybody. that, but it might, you know, yeah. I mean, there's there's well, also some of that. Yeah, some of those vaccines caused, uh, what, uh, thickening of the blood? I don't know. It is what it is. Rob Guts. Rob Guts. So what do you think of the recent raw lifting trend? The raw lifters are snooty and try to look down on those of us who use gear. <laughs> hey, it's always been that way. You know, it's always been a, a different faction. and Right. But it used to be like, it used to be where that was the primary, like primarily what people were doing was um, geared. And then you had the USAPL where there's not gear allowed and it's all raw. And so they would kind of look down on other federations and, and, yeah. and geared lifting but now like there's just been such it a is. swing where it is primor primarily raw so yeah. you know a lot of these newer lifters don't understand the gear and um don't have an appreciation for it because they don't understand like the history of powerlifting well and how i mean powerlifting wouldn't be where it where it is today you know i i'm a raw lifter so obviously like that's you know what I enjoy and what I prefer, but like you have, I, I think we have to kind of admit that powerlifting wouldn't be where it is today if it weren't for, you know, all these people doing it in equipped, showing that this kind of weight humans can handle this kind of weight. And then over time, as it shifted, you know, raw lifters started to, you know, do these numbers raw that people were doing equipped. But I don't think that there'd be as high of numbers if it wasn't done in equipped first. Like, well, history it repeats possible. itself. And when powerlifting began, there was no equipment. And then uh, we were introducing bench shirts in 1985 and squat suits. And then the era of uh, geared lifting took over. And a lot of people excelled in gear. And there were people that used gear and couldn't figure it out and hated it. So the raw, it doesn't help when you have federations that specifically promote it like the USPA. And um, uh, I think we'll see uh, geared lifting make a comeback eventually. It's just um, everything has to run its course. It's a cycle. So it, uh, it is what it is. And um, who knows? Um. Cody Plum. Yeah, that call. Sorry, I was trying to make sure I had the right one. Yeah, that collar stalls and about killed yeah, me. <laughs> that's that shirt. I understand that. Yeah, no, I could totally. <laughs> I bet it does. It's crazy. Some of those are so aggressive. Domo Melcher. Domo Melchor, you're a legend, Ryan. Thank you. Do you have any programs for bench press? Yes, I do. Contact me at my email, and um, I do some online training. I don't charge a whole bunch for it uh, like other people. And um, I can work with you. I can get you in the right direction. And uh, well, how do I feel about 531? It's an awesome program. I believe all programs work. There, I never, I never, there's not a program out there that doesn't work. Every bench press program design was made by somebody who knows what they're doing and um, they work. And um, you need to follow them and uh, do them correctly and you will make progress. And, um, I particularly, uh, uh, West side program is what, uh, made me who I am today. Of course, I, my first, uh, 10 years, uh, I did it on my own and tried to figure it out on my own and found things that worked, but only took me so far. Uh, the eating, sleeping, training, supplementation and technique only got me to a certain point. And, um, I was, uh, a little, I started a struggle, ran into Louis Simmons, rest in peace and changed my lifting career forever introducing bands and chains and speed training percentage training and um all kinds of different um exercises i wasn't doing like floor pressing and uh so on and so forth so um that's the fun of it is uh, finding a program and uh and, and doing it and making progress 
But uh, yeah, five three one. It's been around for a long time. And Windler, uh, awesome dude, knows his shit. In fact, I got his uh, uh, program um, ebook or whatever. It's it's a very interesting read. And um, when I did the five three one program back in the day, I kind of did the uh, uh, condensed version. And I don't know if I even uh, I didn't realize how exotic and and broad it is until I read his book, the ebook that I got. So, Cody Plum. Cody Plum, Ryan Canelli still holds the Washington State records in Wabdol for 242, 275, and 308. We have been plotting on those, by the way. I'm on my way down to 242. It's funny Uh-oh, you mention that, Cody. I, was... I would like to clarify, though. Well, BJ, clear. yeah, mm. you got cut off. How's that feel? It's fun, isn't it? Um, But I would like to clarify that BJ is down here clarifying that he says, Cody, I have the 242. BJ, you might want to check on that. Um, <laughs> I was on the Wabdel site recently because I was looking for a Federation question for the giveaway the other other uh, last week, and I was going to try to find some information on when Wabdel started and use that as one of the questions, and I decided to plop around and look at some records, and I went to Bench, Washington State, and my name is still in there for um i guess open or something i don't know junior but i didn't see bj's name in there and i was going to mention that that must be a mistake then right i don't know what um, was the rec what was your number that was posted up? well 242 was 589 and bj did a 640 oh, at yeah, 242 a... and i don't, I, I might have to look again but um yeah it was it was funny to see my name in there for the 733 and whatever else i did um in wabdol but check on that bj because i i skimmed through it um but i just i was like just looking for my name and i saw those and what was your number again 242 was 589 bench 275 was i don't remember and 308 was was 733 sorry yours oh it was 733 was the 275 or the i don't remember what the 275 was oh it's a 308 that was the might have been 655 i don't know and what was bj's 242 once again 242 bj 641 641 yeah i think that's what he did nice Nice. I don't know, but I think sounds that... like Cody's chasing it, guys. Who, whoever's got it, it sounds like, sounds like Cody's. Uh, but I don't know if Gus like pulled you. your record or something. We need to check into that and see. Try to find your name in there, BJ, on the Wabdel site, because I'm curious now. Because I, you're right. You should have um, a cup. Yeah, uh, that remember that time we went to Wabdel Worlds and in uh, Reno or whatever Vegas, and you did the big bench and Gus was hot and heavy for you for a drug test and he came back and I never seen Gus so pissed. Why? Because BJ was supposed to report to his room for drug testing and Gus said you better find that fucking BJ Dirk and tell him if I don't in my room in 20 minutes he's I'm effing this and I'm okay. I called you and he was in the casino running around. (laughs) He says I checked it two months ago. Oh, then it's must be still in there. 644. Okay. Well, you got the record somewhere. Is that junior or something? Maybe junior record? I don't know. Is Open? It, is I it, don't know. Is the specific spot that you're looking at taking age into consideration, or is it just weight classes and records? I just like, went I went bench only to... Washington State and kind of just went down the chart. Hmm. So maybe okay. he's in there somewhere. I don't okay. know. All right. Uh, um, Ra... Oh, wait. Hold on. Um, Cody, I have the 242. Cody Plum, single ply, not going for that one. Uh, it is too much, BJ. BJ, oh, gotcha. Okay. Okay. Oh, so was it single ply? Was, was it the single ply? Which one, which shirt were you looking at? Like, which? Um... I, I didn't wear a single ply. I wore a multi Okay, so it was a multi ply. Yeah, I mean, it's a single ply. I don't know. Okay um either way sounds like cody's coming for it so get whoever, it, Cody. whoever's got it i don't think you're gonna have it for much longer <laughs> get it i think gus allows a two-ply phenom that's what i would okay. get okay. and a close back and um let's do it nice nice love it love it rob guts i love the bench press i find myself having to defend it as i coach high school football and people often question its usefulness for football really Mm -hmm. how would you address that really isn't that one of the x like big exercises of the compound the big thing is the 225 for reps sports sports related uh when you're trying to bench press um 
depends on you know the programming for you i mean football players aren't going to do maximum effort stuff they're, they're it's speed explosive power probably something if they were benching they would be using 30 percent of their one rep max and and some resistance and uh close grip um uh un, um unilateral uh, dumbbells i mean um but yeah i mean you got to be strong so i don't know um find myself yeah, that... defending having to defend it as a i coach high school yeah football and, and combine, people often question its useful you gotta do 225 for, for conditioning yeah, and like speed and yeah hasn't that been a thing well well NFL? they argue the other lifters or athletes will move forward and be the nfl so yeah that's interesting did you address how would you address that um like how would i guess yeah i mean you partly explain that how you know you can if you do it correctly you can create if they don't want speed and explosive power and you're getting stronger which i mean i mean you're standing sure and you're, that's a... you're doing you know you gotta have you gotta yeah, have when you're blo- yeah. pressing strength when you're defending people i mean well yeah when they, they just don't get it i mean it, and then it depends on how you present it to them in the training aspect too um depending on um, how you're I mean, I don't know if they're doing five, three, one. I don't know. So it's just Depends they'll understand the it. That you're using, and it sounds like you coach um, high school kids, probably. Is that, yeah, that? high school. As yeah. I coach high school yeah. football, they don't understand. They're very green, and um, yeah, they're you kind of got these fellow fellow coaches that you're having to defend it against, or are these kiddos like are these the athletes that you're having to defend it against? I guess that 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 hmm. plays a role that, too. You know, if it's other athletes, then they just might, you know, not understand that yet. If it's other coaches, then I don't know. Like, if it's other adults that should know better, I don't know. Everybody's going to argue, uh, critique everything, so. Yeah, hopefully that answered your question somewhat, I hope. Other coaches. Oh, really? So do yeah. they just not, like, have the education and experience No, no to education, know no. Or, like, yeah. I'd have, I'd have, I'd have your athletes doing close grip, um, um, with more resistance and they are usually weak as as fuck go figure weak as fuck go figure figure. yeah there you go yeah that's probably why they they knock it yeah and they don't want to have to do it it, because when people ask what they bench you know they're not going to want to have to admit admit that but hopefully that kind of helps answer your question i don't know um hopefully that gives you some things to kind of present as you're talking about sleep speed and you know how you can create speed and explosive power if you're using the right um, technique and methods and um, all that. Hopefully that was a helpful answer. Um, great question that's though. Weird. That's a bummer that you have. That surprises the crap out of me that you have to. Do you ask them to explain why at the NFL Combine that's one of the big major tests? Like, what do they think the, that these NFL? Um... Bill Gillespie was a string coach for the Seattle Seahawks, and he told me in 2002 what bench press training that they were doing. So, I mean, you and can. What, and what was that? I don't or... remember. Okay. I just remember he he spoke briefly about it, and they were using bands, and they were doing some um, little different stuff than we were doing a powerlifting, which is you know Makes obvious, yeah, yeah, but. Yeah, let, uh, get a hold of Bill Gillespie. He's easy to get a hold That's of. That's a and great idea. Get yeah. an answer from him. He will give you a great and, uh, answer. And who was a strength coach for the Seattle Seahawks, and then shut those little kids up. For sure. And the coaches. Well, it's uh, yeah, he's saying it's other coaches. The coaches, coaches don't have a clue yeah. either. Which, like I said, if it were athletes, it'd be like, okay, well, Sound they're like, probably, but you know, they probably aren't as strong as they want to be, and they don't like doing it for that. Sounds reason. like these other clo- other coaches reason. were uh, ex high school football flunkies that um, they don't sound like positive people. So, what do you do? continue Miss oh Ashley. well it sounds like cody cody says if it if it's not oh okay i was reading it wrong i was like wait a second cody yeah cody says if it's not useful then why in the hell would it be a test for the combine that's exactly what i'm saying like yeah why why is, has it been for so long one of the big tests in the combine um in the combine to, you know the 225 for reps everybody knows you know everybody knows that and that's a huge one so okay. yeah that's what i was saying like ask them so, okay what's your theory on why they do it in the nfl why it's a test why they want to see how their athletes can perform at that if it's not useful like see what their answer is to that okay so you're bouncing down here where are you at in the question box now Cody Plum, we've been plotting. I'd even give him a shirt to take one of those records. <laughs> I, I assume you're talking about BJ and you guys going for, going for that that same record. That's cool. 
Right? Is that, am I reading yeah. that right? Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I did bounce around a little mm-hmm. bit. That was my bad. Um, Cody, Cody Plum. Sorry, <laughs> I messed myself up. Cody Plum, BJ is the man. I still got a heel for a while. Did 65 pounds last week and Good had swelling. Oh, you had some swelling afterwards. You got, yeah, gonna have to take it really slow and, and listen to your body, you know. When, when that, you know, when you have swelling afterwards, obviously you're going to want to back it down a little bit. But, you know, we, we know you still got to heal for a while, but we also know that as soon as you possibly can be, you're going to be back kicking ass, taking records. And we are excited to see that. But yes, we do know you've, you've got some healing to do. We don't want you to, to push it and come back too soon. You've, you've got time and let yourself heal and then come back and kill it like we know you will. For show. Okay, back up. I read that one. Um, Rob Guts. Yes, thanks. I assume that he's um, referring to that that answer or helped at least yep. um, was a decent answer. That um, And he's saying thank you. You're welcome, Rob. Great question. Thank you for um, putting that on here. Um, Damo Melchor. I hope I'm saying that. Domo, Damo, Melchor, Melchor. Who, in your opinion, is the top five bench pressers right now? Gear or raw? Um, I just know who the top benchers are, and that's Julius and um in the raw division and Jimmy Kolb in the shirted. I could sit here and, and name names, but those are the people that are on top that well, I know. And I mean what I mean, what about um what's that guy that's looking like he might be the first eight? Oh, I can't uh, Z- Daniel Zamani. Zamani. Yeah. He's got a I mean I mean I I mean he's he's anybody, really strong. Anybody that's cut. benching over six hundred and fifty pounds. I don't know. There's a lot of people out there. I don't know their names, but I just know Julius is at the top shirted world. I mean you got Meeker, you got um you got Kolb, of course you got uh carlino um who's the other guy will brody we haven't heard from him in a while you know all those guys have done big things so that's a few uh you? what is that all your yeah it's like i just yeah you don't have like a concrete no five top five i just know who's the best it's hard to choose yeah i mean it's hard to to name five. Who's number one? That, that's, where I, that's where I look. Well, Jimmy Kolb. Jimmy Kolb. I said Jimmy Kolb and Julius. Those, those are the people. Yep. Okay. But he was asking in your opinion. Like, are there any other that you feel like? I don't know anybody they, okay. below Julius. I can't think. I mean, Thomas okay, T.D. So Davis. Daniel another guy. Samani. Kirill. Samani hasn't um, done anything. Eric All he's done is internet lifts. I was going to say, count. has he competed very much? I've never seen No, I don't think he's competed yet. So uh, until he gets on a Eric platform at a, at a meet. Spoto is another one. Kirill. Kirill. Sanchez. Yeah, those Kirill. guys. Anybody that's done, yeah, 700. There's like five of them now. So there's your five. Okay. Thank you. That helped. I, I was drawing a blank. Um, I got you. Uh, Rob got so back to the um, having to defend the bench press um, against these other high school coaches that are not understanding how it's useful. He says that they always use the mobility is more important. Oh, mobility is important. Well, yeah, nobody's saying that it's not, but why? How does that make benching's going to make you immobile? I mean, it, like. I was gonna say, you know, you you might tighten up, but that's like you're you're getting more muscles and Strength's you're getting stronger. If you, still, more if you still if you still work on your speed. mobility work and you're doing that, like both are gonna be beneficial and useful. Why, like, yeah, that's a that's a weak argument, isn't it? That's that probably gets frustrating to have to listen to my word. Uh, sorry, you have to deal with that crap. Anthony Crusoe. Anthony Caruso, good to see you, buddy. Sounds like those coaches care more about being contrarian than being strong. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it does. It sure does. It sounds like I said. It sounds. I mean, I'm sure it has to do with they. They probably weren't very good at it, and they're probably weaker, and so it's probably not something they like to focus on. But saying it's not useful is just seems stupid and naive to me. But. Agreed, Howard Weingarten Anthony. has an interesting comment here. Howard Weingarten. Well, I played football in high school and college, and the bench is for when linemen 
use the punch in pass blocking. And now the coaches only use CrossFit bullshit. <laughs> that's interesting. Yeah, that's, a, I mean, that's, that's a good point. That's, I like that. That's definitely a good point. Like I said, I mean, especially like for alignment, it seems like you said like that when you're blocking, it seems like having that explosive well, power and that strength all in there. Not for I those mean, other coaches. That's I why their team's probably wait. zero and yeah, 15. My gosh. Next question. Yeah, I mean, that's a good point. Like, is your team successful? And are, are these like head coaches or are these just kind of helpers? Like, I don't know. I just, I, that, I think that's silly. I don't know that I, like, I can't imagine a football coach calling the bench you you know not useful like anywho anywho cody plum dynamic bench press would be extremely useful and testing max sparingly i agree i agree for for um for football more dynamic benching is probably going to be more like what they want to do creating that explosive speed and power and then like you said using testing one rep max <laughs> One rep max, one rep max is, um, you know, sparingly to test where they're at and, and, and see how that's going, see where their strength is at. Um, BJ Dirk, Ryan has 765 at 275 open in Wabdol for Washington. Hmm. 765, that's higher than you thought. You thought it was seven. Oh, cool. you didn't know. You didn't know. Didn't know. Never mind. I don't know where he Okay. That. Thank you. Thank you for clearing that up because he was not sure. That was the only one that he. Um, couldn't remember. Okay, so the uh, Ryan has the 275 at 665 pounds open in Wabdol for Washington. Thank you, BJ. Thank you for clarifying that. Appreciate it. Cody Plum, the 242 was 584, which that w was the one you were talking about, huh? Hey, we got a cool new uh, guest or in the chat box here. Okay. Elias. Elias Rubin. No. Oh, yeah. Elias Rubin yeah. is Argentina. joining us from Argentina. Wow. Very cool. Nice, to, nice have to have you, man. That's awesome. Welcome. Welcome to the that's show. Great away. to have you. Wow. Yeah, that's a long ways away. Welcome. Cool. Love it. That was awesome. Cody Plum. BJ, is that national for Ryan? I think he said it was for Washington State, right? Was BJ was that was that two seventy or the seven sixty five at two seventy five? Was that specifically a Washington record or was that um, a national record? I thought he said it, it says Washington. I don't know if that's. Um, let's see here, Cody Plum. I'm seeing two forty two five eighty four, um, two seventy five two six fifty five, and three zero eight seven thirty three. BJ Dirk, Cody, I just looked at the Wabdol site. It's not accurate. I broke that 584 record with 611 at Alki, 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 Alki Beach, Alki Beach I'll in call Gus Rethwich Seattle soon. at Bull Stewart. Find meet. out what the what's going, what's on, going with on there and see yeah. if you can get it fixed yeah. and I'll updated. Say BJ was wondering about his records. Where mistakes they... totally happen. Then yeah, and Gus would have that'd the be, answer. That'd be good to get that. I bet hey, you'd like cool to have question. that corrected, huh, BJ? That's Domo Melcher. Read this one. I got to do some thinking. Okay, what is your best slash favorite training session you ever had? The okay. twelve hundred day. There was one day I did one at a, UGF. One day I did 1200, uh, 1210 in bar weight, and I had two chains on each side because we couldn't get any more weight on the bar. And it was 1288. I did a board press that one day and a four ply or a four board, sorry, and a three ply Titan shirt. Uh, one day in the gym, I, I usually don't touch in the gym when I was on my thousand pound roll in the Phenom, and I decided to do uh a touch in the gym and the shirt just for fun it was like two weeks after a meet and i did 10 55 uh press in the gym um the day i did the 405 for 20 was kind of cool i have a whole a whole bunch of them uh the day i did the 680 raw bench in the gym which was kind of a fluke i was training for a raw meet it took me four weeks and uh i decided to uh, do a touch and go with um 680 and it went up pretty well so th that's just to name a few. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure there's some other ones uh, uh, that I'm not thinking of. But um, 
got some a lot of training sessions, a lot of different training partners, uh, uh, on and on and on. Um, I got some crazy ones that I won't talk about, but uh, yeah, that's kind of the the heavyweight and the cool things that I've done. What do you think, Ashley? I you think of the twelve hundred that I've, day? Is that what I said? Yeah, that, I remember that. Yeah, I totally I'm trying to really think of another that. one that. Um, um, where wasn't there like, something handled, where we like were having trouble keeping it on the? That was that day. Yeah, that's what. That's what first I'm time I handled a thousand pounds in the gym. First time I handled eleven hundred in the gym. Um, on and on and on. Um, yeah, just that. That's been a few. Those were good ones. Like I said, twelve hundred was the first one. Twelve hundred and eighty-eight is what it was that day on a four board. It was twelve hundred and eighty-eight. It was twelve ten on the bar. We had and chains. That's right. Twenty forty sixty eighty, and the link and the and that's the right. carriers were eight, so it was twelve eighty-eight. Okay. And I pressed that's that. Right. That's right. I don't know what the hell I was doing that day, and I everything was just like feeling good. Yeah, I was, was trying fucking, to fucking yeah. I don't remember that day. I know he was. There. I remember I did a thousand, and I was like, put it eleven hundred and eleven hundred and. Let's go 12. And, okay. and I, I did 12, and I was like, can we get any more? We couldn't get any weight on there. So we said, let's put some chains on the very end. And I have a video of it. It's blurry and fuzzy because it was a cell phone that was uh, available in 2010, which was probably a flip phone from uh, Walmart. But uh, I still have it somewhere. Uh, let's see. Cody Plum, do I remember what years you did those? Probably. He's really good. He's yeah. Like Rain Man. 675, I don't know. 733 was the story I told about all the blood in the Salem uh, Wabdul bench meet I did in June 2000. 589 was done in uh, Springfield or Salem, uh, June uh, 2000. And no, June 98. 675, I don't know where that was. Can't remember. I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure Gus would know. But that uh, 733 was uh, the day I did 650 opener. Then I went 705, 723, and 733. And that was a good day. Because that 733 put me uh, like the sixth or seventh strongest human being on the earth. Because we had Anthony Clark. We had um, uh, a, whole, a few others, Lane and uh, Confessior. And um, I think uh, Bill Crawford had a 750 at that time, too. And I beat uh, Glenn Jabbit, who had 723. So, yeah. Last one. Wait, no. Was it, did you already read that one? Uh, No. Cody Plum, I had to call a million times to solidify Rosanna's world record. Oh, really? Did you well, ever, like, did you get it solidified and make sure it was correct in there and all that? So I think it's pretty easy for there to be, I think there's, you know, oftentimes a lot of mistakes with that kind of thing where it doesn't get in or it doesn't get in and put it right or, you know, that kind of stuff. So hopefully it got in there right. Definitely want her to get credit for that. That was amazing. Very exciting. Very impressive. I know you're you're all about making sure people get credit for their records. I still thank you for that at, at that last meet. You definitely saved me and helped me get some um, national records that I would not have um, otherwise realized I even got. So you're really, you're awesome about that. Really still appreciate that. Sorry, I'm trying to find. Um, are you a bench only lifter? You haven't read this one, right? Domo Melchor? Yep. Were you a bench only lifter? Yes, I was. Always. I did one push pull meet. You Next did one, question. One push pull meet where he benched eight something and then deadlifted six seventy five. Six sixty. Six sixty. Again, like the one that we saw tonight, and not he did it conventional, I believe, but straight legged. <laughs> Anthony Crusoe has an interesting question, and I can't think. Hey guys, or hey Ryan, what's the what's that beat supplement you mentioned a few weeks back? That you said was great for pumps. Beet? I do remember you oh. talking about a beet supplement. You have one upstairs, I think. Yeah, it's or you did. I don't know if it I don't know where it's at. Oh, Otherwise yeah. I'd go look well, for it. Yeah. What the hell was that? Um Yeah, it, uh, extreme um vascularity you get from that uh that beet supplement. I I basically it wasn't it was just a uh, beet powder I mixed in with something else. And, um, I used some of, uh, of, um, God, I, I got a couple supplements up there that I kind of throw together in a, in a, in a, in a, 
what the frick was it i have to think i'll have to get back to you on that one it's on it's on top of the refrigerator up there it's uh beet extract and then it's um one other one and it just causes an insane pump it's all natural so i'd have to go look at it again got it at the uh, health food store and um because i just wanted something that's gonna i just googled like what gives you insane pumps over the counter and it had like beetroot extract and this that so i went down to bottom and just arginine or something i don't know um uh, get over this i'm tired of talking about this wreck wabdil shit so why I'm just trying to get it uh, taken care of. Domo. Um, let's see here. Hey, Ryan. BJ, I found it. My record of 64.7 is listed under single, single ply. ply. Okay, that makes sense. That kind of clears that up, huh? Cody Plum, I've always been impressed by that one, BJ. Very impressive, isn't it, Cody? Very impressive. Nicely, nicely done, BJ. Glad. Glad, Glad it's in there. Got Gus that, is yeah. Weird. Gus can take records out when he wants to, and he's done it. Oh, really? Like, yeah, I'm like five, throat. six years later, he doesn't like you. What? You shouldn't be able to do well, that. You can do whatever you, whatever you want to do. That's yeah, that ain't cool though. All okay. right, Domo. Domo Melchor. What was the guy's name who did a world record reverse grip bench? Anthony Clark. Cody Plum, yeah, she did a 240 raw world record. Wow, that's awesome. 240 raw. Nice. That's amazing. That's impressive. Very impressive. World record. Nice. Nice. All right. I was wondering if she had um, done much competing raw. That, that answers that question. Very impressive. So she can kill it raw and she can kill it in a bench press shirt. And that's awesome. That's awesome. Cody Plum, have a good night. Thanks for the show. You too, Cody, and thank you so much for joining us. Always love seeing your name in the chat box and getting to chat with you. Definitely as as your head. great. <laughs> I know. It's like the size of my thighs. It's yeah. crazy. Um, but yes, Cody, it was really good to see you. Always really glad to see your name in that chat box. So I hope you have a great night too and a great rest hey. of your week. And um, love, I'm super impressed by your deadlift creation, being able to deadlift with a broken arm. That's like, that is like top I of the list hardcore. That's amazing. Got my email posted on here. Please send me videos of your training, whatever it is you're doing, if you like to have it on the show. If you're doing anything exotic and interesting and exciting, you know, send it to me. We'll put it on the show and we will put it on the videos to be seen. I get a lot from Tim O'Dell. I get Howard Weingarten, Paul Loeffler, uh, Cody, send me some videos. You know, I'll, I, I, I can't post every video. A lot of times I get like so many, I just kind of pick the best one, you know, but uh, yeah, we'll get them on the show. My email is very easy to remember. All right. Um. Domo Be Domo Melchor, do you ever watch the strongman competitions? Yeah, especially the old school ones. They had Ken Patera and um, Odie Wilson, um, Magnus for Magnuson. I'm not up to date on the new ones, uh, on the newer guys, but um, I watched the old school stuff when they carried refrigerators on their back and all the uh, old days. Yeah, there's some, some cool Phil shit Fister. in that strong man. I out with Phil Fister one time when he won in 05 or whatever. And that guy, I was sitting on a chair in his hotel room with some people. And that guy had a reach on him. I mean, he could you could sit like three chairs away and he reached his arm over and, and could, you know, the guy had limbs. And uh, he had won the, the World's Strongest Man that year. So, yeah. Like, uh, Very impressive. Mark Henry supposedly won one on the Arnold stage, which uh, it was his claim to fame. Gave him the nickname World's Strongest yeah, Man in that WWE. That drives me nuts that they have that on shit. his freaking yeah. thing. Look, because I'm like, he's not. You could maybe say WWE's strongest man. I still think man, we need to have a boxing match. Me, him and I. And, man and, for that guy. and let's go at it, man. Like, what are his numbers? Like, what are his powerlifting I'll numbers? I'll give you my life Dang. savings if I can beat I him to death. I guarantee you there are guys in lighter weight divisions of powerlifting that would annihilate him. So... Don't know where they got the world's right. strongest. I mean, I guess because he did a world's strongest. Yeah, he did. Man he did three attempts, one, three, con one. three um, events on the stage, and then yeah, never saw him again. So that's whatever. Hey, we are done.
Thank you, Ryan. It's Domo, food time. Domo Melchor says, thank you, Ryan. I didn't realize what time it was. I thought it was like 8 something, and I just looked at it. It's 9 something. Yeah, it's 9 o'clock, and I'm hungry. We still got to go back to jam. Yeah, you can go. I'm going to make some food. No, you said you'd come with All me. right, ladies and gentlemen, we will be back next week, obviously, as we always are. And uh, we will bring you. Oh, oh, one more. Have you been around any great benchers that wasted their potential? Ooh, there's pride. Wasted their potential. A lot, there's been a lot of lifters that um, have been flashing the pans. You know, they come in. Do great things, and then they do other things in life. So uh, wasted their potential. Um, I've seen a few. Uh, their names wouldn't be important. Um, that I saw had great potential. If they would have stuck with it, they could have done something. But they found other careers, and they found other avenues in in life that uh, they wanted to, to to pursue. And they, um, you know, so that that happens time and time again. You got to understand, powerlifting doesn't pay the bills. Bench pressing doesn't pay the bills. It kind of used to when I was doing the circuit back in the day. I was making over thirty thousand a year, uh, winning you know five thousand at Mendelssohn's, uh, the bench bash for cash, going over to the Ukraine. But uh, you know, so you gotta and you gotta put in a lot of work to do this stuff, and it's um, uh, so you gotta kind of make a decision if you have a family, you know, this, that, and the other, and and you know, we only live for so long. You want to commit to. Uh, you know, 30, 40 years of this, or do you just want to get in, you know, do a little bit and get out? And um, but powerlifting, you know, and strength um, is something that evolves over time. You know, uh, anybody can be pulled off the street in four months and go on a bodybuilding stage, but uh, take that anyone off the streets and have them come in and deadlift 500 pounds raw or bench 500 raw, it's not going to happen. So it takes time. And um, um, there's been a few, man, that I've seen. Um, even they were doing X amount of weight you know, and I was like, oh my God, you know, where's this guy going to be in 10 years? And then you never see him again. So it happens, nothing you can do, but, uh, I wouldn't say wasted. It's just sometimes life pulls you in different directions. But I mean, it's kind of, I, I had no, I, I have, I, couple, like, I had nothing else. Who really like he was so strong, so much potential. And he just like, I was hell bent on being number one and I committed my time and effort and I could have went out and did other things with other friends, but that they were doing things that didn't make them strong. And uh, I can't hang with that. So I knew it was going to take hard work and time, and I was willing to put it in. And that's what you got to do. 110% into what you do. And, uh, yeah, that's how it works, man. You're welcome for the questions, Domo. Pleasure having you. Yeah, Please don't join even, us again. Don't even apologize, buddy. Yeah. Like That's what we're here for. Ask as many questions yeah. as you want. You don't ever have to say sorry. We no. love the questions. We love um, love answering them, love talking about them, discussing them. So hey. don't, yeah, do not apologize nope. for asking questions. Ask away. Bring them on. Ask away. That is what we are here for. And Domo, is... I expect to see you on the show regularly now. Yes. So you're yes. committed you're to the committed Bench Monster now. family. <laughs> you are on here. Right. and Bench uh, Monster TV We expect to see your name member. on here yes. more often. Yes, we would love to, to see your name on here. Um, more consistently and like i said just bring those questions cool never, questions never too. hesitate yeah, yeah those, different ones that we've never those heard were before. all great questions yeah. those were wonderful questions every single one of them i hope i answered them really to the best good. of I my hope, ability yeah hope hope he gave you some answers that that helped and that you're that you're satisfied with but yeah don't even don't even apologize keep them coming we like them all right ladies Thank and gentlemen next week 7 p.m same time same place and uh, we will hear, be here with some more videos, uh, training footage, uh, social media lifts, and um, gym lifts, and any of your lifts, too. You send yeah, them to my email. Send them. Send and, them um, Maybe we'll have some interesting things to talk about, news. Um, who knows? I'd like to have more from the women's program. Well, get the women's if program would, out, I and I will look at it. If I time, I, I would have um, sent you some more, but I didn't. All right. If I had the time. Maybe, Go to the maybe gym. We can, maybe we can... Uh, put some more on for next week i'm down and keep sending those videos we love seeing what you guys are doing in the gym you guys are doing some really impressive stuff um that, that we're super proud of we always love watching it so keep those coming and again thank you so much for joining us this evening everybody and um great questions and comments and discussion in the chat box as usual um we love you guys we appreciate you guys hope you have a this wonderful, absolutely, absolutely. We hope you have a happy Easter, whatever that is. Great wet rest of your week, a or great was. weekend, a happy Easter, and mm -hmm. a great start to your week next week. And we look forward to seeing you next Thursday. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody.